Hey guys, Alex Jem here yet again. Welcome to the fourth episode of this four week six pack challenge. Uh, today is essentially going to be an upper body and core workout. It's going to be extremely challenging, another powerful hit workout for you. So follow along, do your best. Uh, and remember guys, I mean, these programs are free for you. So make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe and also turn on notifications because I produce videos like this every single week for you. Okay, let's dive in. Okay guys, it is 19 exercises, 30 seconds on and 10 seconds off. Right, so up next, as you can see on the left hand side, this is the initial exercise that we have. Let's get in position, we're about to start. So the push up with a mountain climber. As you can see on the top left hand side, we have an alternative version. You can do your push ups whilst on your knees. To make it just a little bit easier, take off some of the resistance. Go at your pace. All the way up, all the way down with your push ups. Engage your core when you're doing your pushing up. Okay, 10 seconds rest. Next, you have the downward dog and the knee tuck. Nice and controlled throughout. Okay, next we have the push up shoulder tap. Engage your core, keep your body stabilized. An alternative version, as you see on the top left hand side, is to again do so on your knees. Excellent. We now have the inchworm with the push up as well. A great overall body exercise, this. No half push ups, really go for it, guys. Okay, next we have the walking plank, like so. Don't worry if you don't get the coordination right first time for this particular exercise, just do your best. Remember, your shoulders over your wrists, whilst doing any kind of push-up maneuver or plank hold for that matter. Okay, we're gonna go with the up and down plank next. Nice, controlled. Don't allow your bottom to go too low or your hips for that matter to go too low or too high. Nice, stable, maintain pressure with your core. Next, we have the plank jumps from one side to the next. Get ready, guys. An alternative variation is to step from one side to the next if this is a bit too demanding, a bit too intense. 
you want to take it easy on your joints Next we have the tricep dip toe tap, like so. Ensure that your bottom doesn't touch the floor. Off we go. Tap the opposite ankle if you can. Nice and controlled movements. Really engaging your core, challenging your triceps as you hold your body weight upwards. Your balance is also tested in this one as well. Great, next we have the plank barrel roll. As you do this, be careful with your joints or your wrists as you move over from one side to the next. Your core is challenged here as you maintain that posture throughout the movement. Next we have the reverse plank knee tuck. Great, keep your bottom elevated. Don't let it go near the floor, a few inches up at least. Keep your abs engaged. So the plank hop to the squat is next. If you're finding it hard to maintain that explosion, then you can step into it one knee at a time, for example. One foot forward, then the next, and then hold that, that plank hold for a moment before dropping down one foot going back at a time as well. Fantastic. Next we had the bird dog. This is great for your glutes as well. Your core is engaged, your stability and balance is tested. As you lift opposing opposing limbs, keep going. Next, we're going to be doing the side plank reach through. Start with your left hand as you reach through. So your hips, your outer thighs are not touching the floor. Your core is tested here, keeping your body weight upright. Your arms are doing the maneuvering and, and, and giving you that stability. Great, we're now going to move on to the opposite side. The right arm is going to be doing the moving as well. Come on, you can do this. Keep going, do your best. Breathe.
Now we're going to be doing the plank with the uh, single arm fly. Again, testing your core, testing your shoulder strength, developing your upper body as you move one arm out alternatively. Make sure your bottom is not too high. Contract your core throughout the exercise. Great, we're now going to do the staggered push-up. Watch carefully on the left-hand side. Your left hand is going to be wider than usual. The right hand is going to be closer to your chest. Your left hand is going to be more outstretched to the side. It's going to make it more awkward, create an imbalance, making the actual push-up even harder, testing your core even more. It's going to feel awkward if you're not used to doing this kind of push-up. You can do it on your knees as a variation if it's too difficult now. Now going to do the staggered push-up for the opposite side, so your left hand is closer to your body, your right hand is much further away. Again, you can do it on your knees, take away some of the pressure. Make sure your upper body and your lower body move harmoniously at the same time, both up and down not like a wave, nice and controlled, good, we're now going to do the circle plank, as you can see, you are rolling on the tip of your toes here, you're swaying in a controlled fashion, as you can see, you're still maintaining that strong plank pose here, bottom is not too high or too low you can alternate in terms of whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise just a gentle sway that makes it even more demanding for your core we're now going to do the reverse plank hold keep your hips up keep your bottom at least six inches off the floor and you're simply holding focus on your breathing here come on you're doing so well we are almost there now going to down the alternating arm plank hold and this is our last exercise guys come on keep your core engaged throughout shoulders ahead of your wrists nice and controlled extension of each arm at a time we're almost there 10 seconds Keep going. Yes, well done. We got there. And that's a fantastic upper body and core workout for you. Burn tremendous calories, great for your metabol uh, metabolic rate. Congratulations, guys. Again, ensure that you subscribe and click the notification bell as well. I produce workouts like this on a weekly basis for you. Keep up with the programs. This is the end of the four-week challenge for now. Keep strong, look after yourself, and I'll see you soon.